uh, outside again today because I have I have a general appointment I think I'm probably gonna get a cleaning and I have some sensitivity I need to see about that but I'm taking advantage of this week because home this entire week he's on vacation so I'm taking advantage of the fact that he is on vacation because when he's not I have to choose specific days to do my errands which are like the days that he's off but this entire week I could do whatever I might schedule an appointment with my OB this week too I don't really know I really have to see how my body is operating and then I'll figure it out from there. If not, I can schedule it from a, for a day when he's off next week. But, you know. I just love the dental office and my mouth feels so nice and so clean. And we love that. We're going home. They said they had no more corn. Are you looking? Mia, hi. Hi, Yearly Bob. emotionally today I'm at like a eight and I'm not even sure why at all nothing happened you know we're just having a very girl day anyways today's one of those unexpected errand days had to go to the dentist and then I stopped by a very random nail salon the lady did such a good job Ironically, the last time I went to the dentist, I was going to stop there. And I'm like, I don't really know. I don't really feel like trying random people right now because I'm going to be mad if it's not done the way how I want it. But so cute. Exactly the picture that I showed her is exactly what she executed. Love it. So simple, so me. I would go home and cuddle with my baby and sleep, honestly. We're going to eat half of a burger, cuddle with my baby, and sleep. I think I know what it is. My other daughter um, messaged me earlier today and she was so emotional. And I feel like somehow I'm just draining all of that. Oh, sucks. We're going to sleep. Bear. You're obsessed with the what? Yeah? Yeah. Chief staff really look ridiculous with her blankets just going to sleep. I have my OBGYN. A GYN follow-up appointment today to go see if I'm going to be able to get the uh, IUD and well, let's see. At the OB and I really want to leave with the IUD today. <sighs> I don't know that it's going to happen but I need it. I'm at the GYN and I'm so irritated because one, I wasn't even trying to be here today, honestly. 
on my day off, so I want to do the bare minimum, if anything. I really planned on spending the entire day in bed, snuggled up with the baby, and I'm here. We all know how I feel about appointment times. My appointment is 12.15. I get here before that, so I want to be seen at 12.15. It's 12.57. I want to go home. Get me out of here. The fact that we go to our doctor's offices, get undressed, and just lay there for them to see our entire body. I don't know. At least I moisturized my skin before I came here. Because typically, I only moisturize the places that are showing. So when I have to undress, my skin is dry as chips. Embarrassing. Last couple of times here, I was embarrassed. Boy, did I have a temporary lapse in my judgment. Because why did I choose my day off to come do this? The cramps. This is not how I want to spend my day off. Jesus Christ. <laughs> the dentist and I just realized that I've forgotten his passy. from my mom for Halloween. How funny is that? <laughs> Hi y'all. So I wanted to pop in and tell you guys about when I went and I got the IUD. I went and I got it and at first it was great but then i was there for about 20 minutes after and i was feeling excruciating cramps and i'm just like y'all gotta give me something because these cramps are unnatural so they gave me some time while i came home for that day the cramps continued and they were bad and typically i don't have cramps with my cycle and so i find that the cramps were extremely bad so i came home and i had to keep taking Tylenol every like four or five hours but then um i was completely fine and then the next day i was fine i guess it's still in there it's been a week and a half later and I've been taking my oral birth control for a week after I got the IUD because that is what she recommended or she said to like use condoms or whatever. I'm like, I'll just take it for a week just to give it enough time to kick in. Um, so now I've stopped taking them and everything and I'm hoping and praying that it's fine. I have to go back in, I think maybe next week or the following week for her to check because when she put it in, she said that it was low and she wants to see how it moves up within like a month or so. So I'm gonna go back and check it out and see where it's at and I'm hoping that it moved up and it's fine because I'm scared shitless and I don't think I'm at the point right now where I want to get pregnant again right now. I want more kids but not right now. So um there's that but yeah that's where we're at but this is where I'm gonna wrap up this week-long vlog of just running errands and doing everything and being all over the place. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next video.